By the end of this tutorial, you would learn how to build a REST API with the Spring framework. We would use the Postman tool to test its endpoints. Now, to begin with, you have to go to Spring Initializer to start a new Spring project. Here is the URL and I will put a link to it below. So, for the language, we're going to use Java, of course, because Java is awesome. And for the dependency, we're going to use Spring Web. That's the only dependency we need for now. Then you download your project. Now, I'll extract it and then open it in IntelliJ. Make sure you have a good internet connection because your system will need to download some dependencies. So I opened the class where our main method is, and this is how your typical Spring Boot application will look like as from scratch. But let's run this and see what's going to happen. It's going to run on port 8080. So we run port 8080 on localhost. We didn't tell our application what to do when somebody comes to the root URL. So let's create a controller for that. HTTP requests are handled by a controller. It can be identified by the REST controller annotation on top of the class. Now, this controller class handles get requests for forward slash by returning hello. The forward slash representing the root URL. As you can see, once we went there, it printed out hello. For our REST API, we want to display JSON objects. Now, Let's create a class. We're going to create a project that helps us store a list of laptops, the names, prices, and how much RAM the laptop has. So let's create a class for that. I can call the class laptop, give it a variable name, price, and RAM size, and that's it. Give it its constructors and getters and setters. So we have our class variable, which will hold the new laptops inserted into the system. The name of the list is laptop list. This method get all laptops is going to return all the laptops in that list. To access that method, we write slash laptops. As you can see, the list is empty. The name of the method doesn't matter. Now we create another method to add new laptops. Take notice of the request body there. Then we add to the list what is received from the request body. The request body is going to be part of the request when making the API call. For now, the laptop list is empty. To make our 
post request, we're going to use postman. If you notice on the add laptop method, you will see post mapping. That means when you want to refer to that URL, you use a post request. Now, we try to do a post request to that method. If you noticed, it told us that it required a body. Now, we have to satisfy that requirement. In our method, if you remember, the body was the laptop class, which had a name, price, and RAM size. So we send it with the body and then voila. I'll add more laptops. And there you have it. We have more laptops in the system. To make things easier, let's create the URL part to add multiple laptops at the same time. For this, the request body will be a list instead of just one laptop object. So let's run the program again. Because the request body is a list, I will just take the list of laptops, go to postman, the URL is laptops slash new. I'll edit the body and then perform the post request. If I go to the URL and reload to request for the laptops, you can see that it has entered the system. For example, the get all laptops is get. If I decide to use a post, I'll get an error. That's not permitted. Now, apart from request body, some requests have query parameters. So let's create the part which will help us query for laptops above 1000. So here is the code. If you notice, it is request param I used, not request body. Request param here represents the request query parameters when you're making your request. If I try to query without the query parameters, I got an error. So, let me put the parameters. Let's say greater than 1000. So here you have laptops greater than 1000. The code to this tutorial will be in the description below. If you want to learn more about Spring, you can check the Spring in Action textbook and some other Spring textbooks which I will list in the description below. This was just a simple tutorial to get you up and running with Spring Boot. Yo.